How's what the cow? up? How's the cow? <laughs> <laughs> she walks. She talks. She. I don't remember that. Oh, <laughs> I don't remember it. I don't remember it. That's good either. though. She caught me off guard. She walks. She talks. She's full of chalk. Something or other. Something about the bovine. Something. Something. Yeah. Milk. Full of milk. People listening to this that didn't go to the Naval Academy are like, what in the world are you talking about? What are about? these guys talking about? <laughs> hey, man. So I've been blogging a lot more lately. A lot more. No. I've been blogging a lot, lot more because I hadn't been you know, writing for forever. But I love to read. I love to write. And for me, it's, uh, you know, I just, it's something I really enjoy. And, and, and I've, I have, uh, one aspect of it is you think about something. And then as you're writing, why, which is why I think journaling and things like that, which I'm terrible at and don't do. Um, but that brings out so much. It could bring out so much and, yeah. and, and richness in your time and your quiet times. But, did uh, you, did you see my, my, uh, my comic that I found about, about you blogging? Yeah. Hey, I thought blog was noise your stomach makes or something. Yeah. 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 No, that was pretty funny. Yeah. That was good. I laughed. I think I, I think I did a smiley face did emoji you do a, on it. Did you do an LOL? No, I did like a, like a single click. So like I picked I, a kind of a pick and a drag or a click mm -hmm. and a drag to, instead of the thumbs up, like I did like a, like the, ha -ha, with the tears, I think. I oh, the, 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 the big smile, yeah, the big the smile, mm -hmm. just so you could feel my big smile. I, I did. Um, I felt that yeah, when you click good. through all those individual Sorry, uh, I, I, comments. I, yeah, you did. I got you off track. Um, But I had a, you know, I was driving and I was listening to a couple of books and, and this question kept coming up as to, you know, I kept asking myself, why, why do I allow um, my, why do I allow myself to get, to waste time in negative emotions in my relationships? <clears throat> so specifically with my wife, like I have this vision of a, this marriage that I want and it's this partner and we laugh and we love and and I'm not trying to oversimplify things. Yeah, everybody has conflict and all that good stuff. But the majority of the time can be spent not in conflict and can be spent creating this beautiful relationship that will last the rest of our lives. And there are these detractors. And why do I sit in the detractors, which then prompted the question, hey, when's the last time I thought about how short life my, our, my life truly is? Yeah. Right. And, and as I thought through that, it's funny because I, uh, the first thing that popped in my head for whatever reason was time, tied information. I, I don't know why, but time, tied information, <laughs> wait for no one. Right. Because, and, because that equates so easily to your relationship with your wife. Very easily. Yeah. Very easily. <laughs> yeah. It's just a, a, a direct line. Um, and, but really for those, idea of, but for those that, that have no idea still what we're talking about time, tied information, can you explain that just a little bit yeah 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 so at the academy so with this where, where this is kind of okay. you know where this will make sense is at the academy there were these sayings a, a bunch of them and yeah. and back in the day when we were at the academy i didn't really have a full appreciation for these things because they typically were used uh in a way to help highlight how deficient you were at something <laughs> and so just wrote uh, memorization wrote memorization right and and so like the five basic responses were beautiful because it really it it gave you your your responses were so limited that you had to either acknowledge yes or no right sir yes sir ma'am no ma'am you had to acknowledge receipt of an order that you were going to comply with sir i i sir you had to if you didn't know the answer to a question or couldn't comply then you had one, one excuse to make, uh, ma'am, no excuse, ma'am. Like your excuse was literally like, I have no excuses. Uh, and so or no, there it is. Oh, what's the other one? I'll, I'll find out. And the other one is I'll find out. Right. Yeah. And I'll find out. And so it just, you know, I, I, I think the, I, I love how, now, looking back, I love how concise these things are. So to your question, time, time, information, there was one that said time, time, information, wait for no one. So time obviously waits for no one. Tide waits for no one. It, it, it is what it is. And formation waits for no one. It, there's a set time and that's what time you show up. Yeah. And, and that's formation happens. And if you're late, you're late. And, and 
as I was thinking about time specifically, it waits for no, like it, it, it is something that should be used intentionally, but it's also something you should think about. You should consider that the time you've spent on this earth and what you've accomplished. And if you've accomplished things you want to, and, and what you have, you know, the averages will tell you that you have left and, 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 and where you spend the time with your kids and what, how much time you have with your kids left before they leave the house and all these things. And it, it was really profound because you have to be intentional with these things, but the specific topic of time made me think about these sayings. And it really, like I started chuckling because I was like, man, I, I love a lot of these sayings. So over to you, what, what is your favorite saying and, and, and why? And have you found it to be truly impactful? So you, you'll laugh at this because I know you like to make little like Facebook videos when, when I'm late. Um, but you know, the, to be early is to be on time, to be on time is to be late and to be late is to be left behind. Like that's always in the back of my mind, especially, especially if I think I'm going to be late and do like, yeah. uh, I, I, I laugh about it, but like at the time, like being late drives me bonkers especially if it's because of like our kids or like you know trying to get them out the door like getting to school getting to church um dude i, I like lose my religion to try to just get them to church on time and, and that's not my saying i think that's dave ramsey he said that before and i laugh every time i hear I it i love that that's awesome i never heard it yeah dude like i get so frustrated uh when we're late to something and, and, uh, you know, you post this video when I'm, when I'm late to, to meeting you, but, um, there's a lot of times that you're late too, my friend. And I know that you, it makes you angry too. Like, I know. It makes I don't you recall frustrated. a single, <laughs> I don't recall a single time. I don't, the, the not, not, not a one comes to mind. Yeah. But all these things are like, I mean, they're, they're great. They're great, uh, um, leadership traits, you know, um, and, and you and I are, are speaking at an event coming up um, and, and we're, we're speaking about like leadership and things we've learned over time. And like all these sayings that we have from the Naval Academy that you're bringing back up, um, they're just great leadership lessons. They're great really leadership traits that, that we can live by and um, try to pass on to our children. So uh, it's good stuff, man. Good stuff. Yeah. You know, I, and it's, it's funny. And I don't know why I've never really reflected on it. Um, but as I started thinking of through some of these sayings, you know, a lot of them I've actually referenced back and there, there's so much goodness. So for example, there's two that, that I often think about And one is, uh, one is take heed what you say of your seniors, be your word spoken softly or plain let less the bird of the air tell the matter. And so you shall hear it again. Right. Mm. And, and back then I was like, ah, like what? Because they'd ask you these things and you'd have to rote memorization and spit them out. But the wisdom in not gossiping yeah, and not talking ill of really anybody, but your seniors, because inevitably whether it's your senior or anybody, it's going to, it's going to get back. If it's coming out of your mouth and you're putting it out there, it, it most likely is going to come back in some form or fashion. And so why even do it? Why not find a better way for yourself and, and uh, you know, to deal with these things, but there's so much wisdom in that. And, and I just, it didn't really, uh, it just didn't really stick back then. And I wish it, I wish it would have. And yeah, it's funny because my kids now dude, I always use, Hey, what, 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 uh, are you, are we early? Are we on time? Are we late? Like you guys tell me and they're like, no, nah, dad, to be early is to be on time and to be on time is to be late. <laughs> I'm like, what's to be late left behind. I'm leaving you guys, but they, but it's, it's, I'm using it now as a parent too. And it, it's just, uh, it's a funny thing. So I would encourage people to, you know, to not bash these things, but to really, you know, think through, especially if you're an academy grad and you know, these things by, by heart, but but if you're not, you know, to think through some of the the things your parents passed down, your grand, grandparents passed down and look at them with a new light. Yeah. You know, take off the filter of your biases, take off the filter of your pain or whatever your anger at your parents and, and allow yourself to really sit in some of these, these nuggets and, and see how they can truly impact you and, and make you better. 
because I know for me, man, it's, uh, you know, a lot of these things are, are, uh, have become way more profound, especially as I become a parent and especially as we do businesses and, and things of that nature, how, how, how many of these are just really, um, are just really beneficial. Concur, sir. Concur. Not so dumb. Not so dumb. Not so dumb. And one that I'm trying, cause I can't remember, I don't want to jack it up, but I think of often is the might of the chain. Mm. And I think of that with, with you, it's uh, on the strength, on the strength of one link in the cable dependeth the might of the chain who knows when thou mayest be tested. So live that thou bearest a strain. And I feel like a lot of times you are a strong, a link. very strong part of the chain. Yeah, that's right. And I often am a weak link. So mm. I need to fix that. Oh, I thought you were going to go yeah. the opposite direction with that. I know you, I know what you thought. I know what you thought, but I wanted to surprise you. Thanks, buddy. So on the strength of one link in the cable, depending on the might of the chain, remember that. Well, dumb dudes. Deep thoughts. Out. See you.